Good evening. I'm sure by the time you watch this, it will be good day, good morning. Um, this is Misha. It's been a while. I have not been on for a minute. But the Lord kind of held me back. But he has released me to um, come back to do my video. So I'm excited about that. Um, I really was supposed to do this one a little earlier, but the day got away from me and I was not going to sleep until I did this. I said, even if you guys see it tomorrow. So, hello everybody. How are you? Hope everybody is well and your September is moving right along. I, um, actually had... A word from the Lord and um, I just came to bring that forward we can flush it out a little bit more during the week um, or whatever else he gives me but he wanted me to bring this forth today because because of his heart for his children how much he loves us you know and he just wants us to be in relationship with him in communion with him to know him as father so i'll um pray and then we'll get into what he said i'll share you just with the scriptures and then um that's it it's not going to be long um i'm just glad to be on and um miss you guys a whole lot a lot has been going on in my life I don't know if you ever read my second book, um, Moving Into Your Destiny. The Lord moves me around a lot. So, I am always on the go. But I love being led by Him. I love that my steps are ordered by Him. And um, I thank Him for giving me the grace to be obedient and move forward as he provides for me to do so so it is late here in the east coast but we're gonna bring forth this word and pray that who's supposed to hear it will hear it and in fact let's say a quick prayer father i thank you so much for this new day i think that it was a beautiful day and um that i was able to spend time with my daughter and just enjoy going to church and having a wonderful day i bless you lord because you're so faithful and you love your children with an everlasting love i thank you lord for your mercies that are new every morning for your grace that is sufficient for us and i thank you that you love us and you care about everything that concerns us so as i bring forth this word father i pray those who are supposed to hear it will hear it and i pray father it will fall on good ground hearts that are open and receptive to hearing your word and running into your arms and know that you love them and just want to be in relationship with them um i bless you i thank you in jesus name amen let's keep it short short and sweet okay so this came about last night while i was in my prayer time and <clears throat> yeah, the scripture came to mind. Um, actually, the scripture was um, a scripture that I was reading. Actually, let me, ah, I can't pull it up. Okay, I'm going to put it in the description. That was my bad on that one. So, as I was reading the scripture, it was talking about trusting him and believing him. And knowing that he cares about us and he's going to take care of us. And so while I was kind of meditating on that, and because that is something every time I read it, he's been having me to read Psalm 31 like a lot. 31 and 35. And um, it was really showing me kind of like the season that I'm in. And letting me know, don't worry, I got you. You know, no matter what's going on, no matter what might be going on around you, you can trust me to know that I got you. You know, 
And that was such a consolation for me. And as I was basking in that and um, really thanking God for his faithfulness and his protection and his provision, you know, he came through and was saying, you know, had given me his heart, which is what I'm going to share with you. Okay, so I'm going to be reading it from what I wrote. And I'll tell you the scriptures to go with it. And then that's it. Okay. So. All right. So his word says, I want to save my children. If only they would trust me. If only they will trust me and turn to me. I want to comfort them from all that is coming. But they must trust and turn to me. Trust me as their savior and Lord. The time is short. They must repent and turn away from the things of this world and live a life of purity and holiness. I will help them if they turn to me with their whole heart. I love my children and don't want them to perish, but to repent and turn back to me, the author and the finisher of their faith. Repent, my children. Hard times are coming, and I will keep safe and provide for those that are mine. If you hear me calling, do not harden your hearts. So, you know, I was flushing that out and you can actually feel God's heart, you know, like he realizes that we're so into this world that we're not trusting him as God, you know, and that's what he's calling us to do. Trust him, turn to him, believe him, repent, you know, turn away from sin, turn away from the things of this world. He said it, you know, turn away from the things of this world. He said the time is short, you know, um, there's a lot of stuff that's about to go down and hearing him, following him, obeying him. Those are the things that are going to get you through this time that's coming. And and he wants to protect us. He wants to save us. He wants to provide for us. He wants to keep us safe. You know, that's the kind of father he is. He loves his children. You know, um, when he was talking about repenting, I remember how John the Baptist would go through and you know that was his word repent right actually it's in Matthew um, Matthew 3 verses 1 and 2 it says in these days John the Baptist came out preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand he was making um, everybody know that they should repent you know, Jesus is on his way. He was preparing the way for Jesus to come. And that's what we are doing now as we come forth and bring forth this word. We're letting people know Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Turn from your wicked ways and run into the arms of Jesus, who is the author and finisher of your faith. You know, um, he cares about every one of us we were all created in his image we are all his children no matter what color no matter what race no matter what nationality we are all his and he desires for us to live a life that is pure and holy and right before him second peter 3 and 9 says the lord is not slow to fulfill his promise as some count slowness but is patient towards you, not wishing that anyone should perish, but that all should reach repentance. He wants all of his children to be saved. He wants us to be able to live a life that is pleasing to him. No sex, no drugs, no rock and roll. That is not pleasing to him because it defiles what he have put us on this earth to do which is to glorify him and those things don't glorify him thank you holy spirit 
And lastly, Hebrews 3 and 7 says, Be faithful, therefore, if you will hear his voice. Do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion. It is rebellion when you hear the Lord calling and you turn the other way. He is always calling us. He is always showing us how much he loves us. He is always showing us that he has better for us. I remember when I had um turned away from the Lord. <laughs> I thought I was grown, I was being mad at the Lord, and I remember I got into this really bad car accident, such a bad car accident, car was spinning all over the place, it was hitting the dividers, I was on a highway, cars were going by, and I wasn't hitting any cars, I did end up hitting a van towards the end, I hit the van, spun out a couple of more times, and then ended up hitting the divider and then the car just stopped so the van that i hit was people going to work and they of course had to call the tow truck and call all the the hospital um, the ems and the fire the, the car was the van was actually not that bad but of course they dragged it out as much as they could me whose car was totally a wreck I was able to turn the key, turn the car back on. Oh, yeah, the car just shut off by itself, by the way. I was able to turn the car back on and drive off. I drove off with a jacked up car. I mean, of course, I exchanged my insurance information and they were able to contact my insurance and what have you. But just the fact that I was able to drive away, not hurt at all. The car looked a bit banged up, but I was able to drive away from that. See, I knew that was God. As much as I was turning away from him, as much as I was doing, living a life that wasn't pleasing him, he was showing me, I got you. Nothing is going to happen to you. I walked away from that accident. I was able to drive home, park my car, and I just sat there and I looked up and I knew it was the Lord that protected me. I knew it was the Lord that saved me. And that's what he wants to do for all of us. He wants us to recognize that he's there. Recognize that he cares about us. Recognize that the things of this world are of no value to us. Ecclesiastics tells you over and over, it's all vanity. You know what I mean? Drink, party, smoke, sex, all of those things cannot get you into the kingdom of heaven it cannot improve your relationship with the lord it actually it actually damages your body and makes you away you know pulls you away from the lord because you're going to desire more of those things more than desiring holiness and he's calling all of us to live holy he's calling all of us to accept him accept jesus as our Lord and Savior. So, like I said, I wasn't going to drag this out. I didn't want it to be too long. But I did want to bring forth the word of the Lord. And admonish you to consider your own life. Uh, if Jesus was to come right now, what would be your uh, status? Would you say you're saved? Would you say you're working on it? Would you say you're backslidden? Would you say, nah, that's not for me? Because I've, I've heard people say that. I'm okay. What? This is a great time for us to reflect on where we are in our relationships with in our relationship with the Lord and make a decision and choose him choose life you know the bible does tell you you know you can choose life or death and then it turns around and tells you which one to choose choose life you know i like to do the choose life when i'm talking about abortion because a lot of people seem to think abortion is an option and it's not so i often say choose life but in this instance choose life 
choose Jesus and know that we are living in very perilous times. This is not to make you afraid because God does not give us a spirit of fear. But we do have to be prudent and aware of the season and the timing that we're living in. So if you have not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, we can say a prayer right now. And know that you're okay. And you would have Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And he will walk through life with you. He doesn't want you to be perfect. He's not telling you to go clean yourself up and then come to me. He said, nope, come the way you are. When I came to Jesus, I came to Jesus smoking and drinking, cussing, y'all. Because nobody cursed better than me. You hear me? But I came just the way I was, and I just threw my arms up, and I said, I'm back. You know? And he just grabbed me and hugged me and said, okay, let's go. And it's been adventure after adventure <laughs> after adventure after that. But I would do life with Jesus any day without, aside from doing it without him. I would not, could not make it without him. So, okay, let's say a quick prayer. Lord Jesus, I believe that you are the son of God. And that you were born of a virgin and you came into this world just for me. You got on that cross and you died just for me to forgive me of my sins. And bring me a right relationship with you. Forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. And fill me with your Holy Spirit. And teach me how to live a life that is pleasing to you. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. That's it. He will teach you. He will show you. He will clean you up. He will help you. But the key is to turn to him. That's what the Lord said. Turn to me. Come back to me. Turn away from sin. Repent. Okay? So, I hope this word fell on good ground. I hope you hear the word of the Lord to turn from your wicked ways. Turn away from the things of this world. Turn away from the life of sin and turn to him, the author and finisher of your faith. Okay, I think that was it. I'm glad to be back. Um, got another book out. It's coming out probably this week. We'll talk about that. But until then, have a great night. Father, I bless all of my subscribers. I bless all those that listen to this video. And I pray, Father God, that um, you touch the hearts of your people to know your heart and your love for them. And I thank you, Lord, that you will do what only you can do, because only you can do it. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. So, have a great night, a great tomorrow, and I'll see you soon. Bye.